and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to talk about how to heal trigger finger with four exercises that work. We should really put at the end of that real patient, Brad. Real patient. Because we have a real patient, right? Well, some people would consider me real. Okay. <laughs> Not everyone. One way or another, these exercises are real nice, and uh, been, I'm excited to talk about this. They've been helping you, right? Yes. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. by the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we'll upload every day. Also, go to our social media sites, and also go to website, bobandbrad.com, because we're always giving something away. We're on a, a one day hiatus because we just Ooh. we just finished something that, giving away so we don't a massage. Know. But tomorrow we're going to be giving away a massage gun on Sunday. Oh, that yeah, yeah, the high uh, end one. Yeah, that really nice one. one. Uh, you can also go to Bob and Brad on Facebook. It'll be pinned mm. to the top of the page to contest. Uh, if you want a short version of us, go to Twitter and Instagram. Make Sixty sure, second version of our make program. Make sure you smile. Oh, smile. Yeah, my wife said we should smile more. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, trigger finger, I think most, not everyone knows what it is, but if you have it, you probably do. It's when, it's, it's usually uh, one, one of the fingers, the thumb doesn't get it too often. Um, it's when you bend your finger down and it, you feel a click and it gets stuck down there. And then to get it on it, it's usually pain is associated with it and it clicks open and then it's there. It's typically worse in the morning, getting out of bed. It's more painful. I've experienced this over the last month or so. You're saying you have trigger finger, Brad. Right. Yes. It's getting much better now. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I was hoping I could make it, it click. Yeah. But you've, you've cured it. Thursday it was doing this and I just hit it really hard because I wanted to make sure what I said worked and it's working. I mean, it's almost gone. Anyways, oh, you know what, if you have that trigger finger, um, causes of trigger finger. They really don't understand it fully, but it's typically, it happens a lot with people with rheumatoid arthritis. Definitely I've seen with just rheumatoid arthritis. Just osteoarthritis. Yes. Uh, people have a lot of repetitive motion with their daily job or at home. Uh, but yeah, again. Yeah, like tr trimming the bushes, you know, or something. Sure, you know, right, or, yep. Or and, if, and it's not an electric one. You, you're doing the squeeze on right. it. Right, or if right. you do a lot of gripping at work. The job I used to work before, I had a lot of that. Sure, um, which so, may indicate why you have it now. Well, that was 20 yeah. years ago. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. Delayed onset. Right. Anyways, uh, we'll go on to that. They talk about the reason it happens is the muscle is down in here. Your flexor muscles that flex your fingers are here, and the tendons run up to your carpal tunnel and into each finger. And, and if you do this with your thumb and you just relax your hand and you push on there, your fingers will flex because you're tightening those tendons. And the tendons go through, each finger has what they call a pulley. Uh, and that tendon goes through that pulley and that's where it gets hung up on, which is at the base of the finger. So I got a little demonstration here I thought would be fun to yeah, show people. Yeah, I think it's worthwhile showing this because it's going to help you when you treat it. Right. You know, understanding why you're doing what you're doing. So when we do this on a normal hand, the tendon is going through the pulley like this. Nice okay. and smooth, nice no and, problems. Mm -hmm. Now, when you get some scar tissue or whatever it is that makes that uh, tendon not go through, it's like this knot right here. And it gets hung up in there, and you get it to go through. And then when you try to open it, it gets hung up typically a little more. And you pull it, and it pops through. And then it's smooth here. But when you get to that one point, every time that knot or that scar tissue gets through that pulley, it hangs up. So what we want to do is eliminate that scar tissue. Yeah, we want to break that scar tissue up so you have a smooth sailing all the way through. There you go. And that's what we're going to show you. All right, Bob, should we show them? Let's show them. Okay, four steps. First one is uh, just working that hand and getting it moving uh, throughout the day is going to be helpful. Typically in the morning, it's going to be more painful. Do what you can. If you can pop through that painful spot and open up and pop through it, you can do that if it's too painful. Just do range of motion in the pain-free yeah, range. Yeah, don't get it fired up. Right, I mean, right. But, um, you, you want to mention, Brad, that sometimes you know, you'll find the tender spot down here. And you can actually hold on to that while you're doing range? I was gonna I was gonna tell them that later. Oh, okay. Sorry, yeah, I jumped we're in. We're gonna get back to okay. that. So active range of motion first and do that, you know, 10, 20 repetitions in the pain-free range. And then also range the finger out to the end range. Gotcha. Okay, so mine was my middle finger or the third digit. So when you open it up, 
push just that finger, that's the end range. Stretch it that way, five to 10 repetitions. And then go the other way. You're gonna to have to go through the trigger part and then push it down. This way is the more painful side. If it's really flared up, a, a week ago, I wouldn't be able to do this without saying bad words. Uh, but I can do it now and it's comfortable. But I, I have been doing this as well. And you can do that two to three times per day. You're not gonna to wanna to do that all the time. Sure. Because it's just too aggressive. Now, I think this is a, this is the real. This is the one that's going to make the big difference. Right. And yeah. this is, I'll show you what I've done, and then you can show that, that bonus one. Okay. Is you're going to find where that pulley is, and it's going to be the tender spot right at the base of the finger. So he's at the base of yep. his finger. Yeah, I'm doing it this way because it's yeah. actually the finger that I've worked on. And what I did is I use my thumb here, and I take my hand and hold on the back, and then I would use this thumb, and then I would, I actually, instead of, we talk about cross friction going across, I did all directions. Yeah, and that's what I, I would recommend, yeah. too. Go absolutely in all directions. This is really incredible, because I'm pushing pretty hard without much pain. And just three or four days ago when I started this, this was not comfortable. Yeah, you want to find the tender spot, basically. Yep. And, and, and you start off, you know, initially, you may have to do it lightly. Yep. And then over time, you can work into being more aggressive. Right. Um, if this is if your trigger finger is really flared up to begin with, and this really hurts, just don't do it. You know, yeah, you, you may want to. Yeah, you may want to put a cold pack on it. Maybe do some ibuprofen if that works for you. Um, but as this improves, I am just happier and happy that I can work this, and it's it's wonderful, Bob. Yeah. So what I was mentioning oh, yes. before is Another that you option. can actually find that tender spot sometimes, and and then do range, and it just seems like it helps guide that pulley through the system there. Um, so if you do this and it triggers and it clicks, if you push on it and then as a result of that pressure, you can go through the range of motion. See, see if you can. Yep. See if it makes it better. If it doesn't, it's not worthwhile doing. But if you it know, does. It does. That's the way to do it. Yep. Work that as well. Remember, you're going to get that knot out of there and get it smooth again. Um, oh, the next thing, and this is probably not as important, but it is nice. You want to you sure. do it with the green one? Yep. You got a rubber, rubber band. You could just pull out a rubber band out of your drunk drawer at home if you have one and you simply open up and that's going to strengthen the opposite muscle group which can get weak because you're not using that finger um, and helps range out the hand and do you know 10 to 15 of these once or twice a day so brad aren't you going to mention the apple cider or not well i wasn't going to on this one but we could i i, I think it i had you know it seems like it had an anti-inflammatory well, effect on your finger uh, uh, there's a little longer story to this my both hands were very tight in the morning painful arthritic tight ow especially this hand and this finger was by far the worst uh in about three and a half weeks ago i started drinking two tablespoons of apple apple cider because we did apple some cider, research on apple it. cider vinegar. There we go. With the mother. With the mother, right. <laughs> We've got a video on it. Yeah. Uh, every day I drink it, mix it with water, drink it. And now I get up, my hands aren't tight anymore. And, and how and long had your fingers been that way? Two years. Two years. I do. And yeah. So this is the th only thing you changed is you started drinking apple cider vinegar. Right. And all of a sudden it went away. Right. And it, it, it's actually, I'd say 90%. 90% better. Yeah. It's not 100, but this finger was by far the worst, the trigger finger one. And now that one was 50% a week ago. Since I've been doing this, I would say that's about be brand 80. new. Yeah, which is so. really important to me because I really enjoy my, on my off time, I really like to do things that I work with yeah, my hands. Yeah, exactly. Um, it really limits you in life. Yeah, if you, if it was going to change my whole life. I was getting kind of depressed about it. And now I'm starting to feel pretty good about it. Life um, is good. Apple cider vinegar, I wouldn't take it if you have reflux. Oh, uh, yeah. That's going to make things worse, let me tell you. Yeah, um, yeah. If you've got any medications you're taking, yeah, any things like that, you've got to check better... it with your doctor. Yes, for sure. But, uh, by the wow. way, if you, oh, um, yes. we can fix just about anything. Except for a broken heart. There you go. But we'll work on it. Yep. Overtime. We're going to put overtime this week on it. You, I'm not going to. I am. I'm taking a break. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching.